You are finished. Meg sobs in fear as Beatrice and Eduardo give King Charles proof Meg stole Queen Elizabeth's jewelry at Jubilee. Summer loving in France, Princess Beatrice and Eduardo Mapelimozzi enjoyed a getaway to St. Tropez this week. King Charles III's 34-year-old niece and her husband were spotted during their French holiday at a port near the restaurant club, 55. In one sweet moment, Edo was photographed with his arms around his wife. Princess Beatrice looked summer chic wearing a floral printed dress, while the dad of two sported brown trousers and a white t-shirt. The couple has a special connection to France. Following their private wedding in 2020, the princess and Edo reportedly honeymooned in the country. Prince Andrew's eldest daughter and her husband celebrate three years of marriage earlier this month. Edo marked their wedding anniversary on July 17th with a romantic tribute on his Instagram. Happy wedding anniversary to the most beautiful wife in the world, he penned. I am so grateful for every moment we have shared, every challenge we have overcome, and every dream we have pursued together. As well as the highlighting the RVH floral design arrangements put together by Patrice Van Halden, it inadvertently shared a closer look at the sparky wedding ring on her left hand with a thin platinum band dotted with diamonds and a curved design to slot perfectly next to her engagement ring which was specially designed by Eduardo British Jeweler. Cheyenne was a mastermind behind Beatrice's handcrafted engagement and wedding rings, the latter of which fuses Victorian Art Deco aesthetics. However, it's a beat to break from royal tradition, which sees brides wearing gold wedding bands made from the same nugget of Welsh gold from the Clog Al Mine. The late Queen Elizabeth, Queen Camilla, Princess Kate, Meghan Markle, and even Beatrice's sister, Princess Eugenie, have all chosen Welsh gold wedding bands. So the royal bride's unique accessory likely came as a surprise to royal fans. Rumor has it that the Jubilee 2022, Meghan asked Princess Beatrice to take off the ring and asked if she could try it on. The easygoing Beatrice gave it to her. Meghan didn't take her eyes off the ring and then distracted people around Westminster with something else. But Eduardo kept an eye on Meghan at all times and then asked Meghan, It's time for us to leave. Would you mind taking it off? It's not clear what Meghan meant by borrowing the expensive ring, but you know it's still better to be on guard for a theft. Meghan Markle wasn't thrilled with the ring that Harry had made for her with Diana's diamonds. Meghan Markle had the ring changed so it had more bling. It wasn't ostentatious enough for her. Should we be surprised that she may have tried to belong Beatrice's ring? No, as Harry himself said, Meghan is capable of anything. It's been reported that the jewelry she borrowed from the royals has somehow been misplaced, and Nutmeg knows nothing about it except it's always jewelry that is the one who borrowed. Princess Beatrice's engagement ring was originally estimated to be 3.5 carat gem costing around 78,000 pounds, but Max Stone at Stephen Stone later estimated its value could reach up to 140,000 pounds. A 6 carat diamond takes center stage, which looks to be around 3 carats. He began the round diamond shoulders to tapered baguettes, which gave the ring a vignette feel, and the Art Deco inspired look for added sparkle. The ring also features small pivot diamonds halfway around the band with the images. It's clear the diamonds are VVS grade, which means they have minuscule inclusions that are different even for trained eyes to see under 10 times magnification. The diamond looks flawless.